Virtual pet games have been around since when people figured out how to make games that weren't Pong. Tamagotchi, Nintendogs, Webkins, Robo Sapien, you name it. And it makes sense. Kids love pets and parents love not giving their children actual living, breathing animals that'll eventually die and send their child into a spiraling depression for at least three days. It's a win-win for everyone. In 2004, my parents gave me a Nintendo DS along with two games to go with it. Animal Crossing Wild World and Nintendogs. They already gave me a real dog at that point, but this was good for stopping me before I started trying to ask for another. Because boy, did I not take care of the first one. I actually still have the exact same save file as when I first got the game. This is Star, my first ever Nintendog. I don't know why I named her Star, especially since the shape on her stomach is a heart. Anyway, her stats are maxed out. She can walk longer than any of my other dogs. I was gonna show you, but then... I do, I do not think that we just went on a walk. I haven't seen these dogs in 12 years. And she's the champion of agility training. Er, well, at least she was, until I tried to do a contest like the good old days, made a fool of myself, and got my dog bullied by the judges. This is Scruffy, named after my childhood dog, who is very dead now. Oh, there's Scruffy. I know you haven't had a human interaction in like six years because you're dead, but give me some space, will ya? And the other dogs mean nothing to me. I also wanted to show off my peach cart toy. I loved this thing as a kid and thought it was super rare, which I actually think maybe isn't because I have two. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about Nintendogs. I'm I'm here because I found a bunch of very strange virtual pet games that are not Nintendogs that I want to show you. First up, we've got Hamster's Life with a Z. And oh, uh, I got these games from eBay and it looks like someone else's hamster is on here. Anyway, oh no, it's one of these games. So I was going through the selection of hamsters and I stumble onto this. The cutie hamster. This is quite possibly one of the ugliest hamsters I've ever seen in my entire life. The cute little icon compared to the actual hamster is astounding. I got worse. He looks like an elder, so I'm going to name him Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa wants to play a memory game. <laughs> oh no. So you can pet your hamster, feed it, clean the mass amounts of black mold growing in its cage. Hold it with your creepy hand. You can even take him out of the cage and hold it. All right, I think I'm done for now. You can also give it toys to play with. Oh, he cages too small. So, you know, Hamster's Life with a Z was as to be expected. Sure, some of the execution was a bit unexpected. But nothing out of the ordinary. Until, what do you say when you tone a wound, you see a cat, and your heart almost stops? Ah, uh, what? I thought you just play little mini games with your hamster and feed them seeds and stuff, but apparently they start learning English. You can talk to them and they'll respond, but you can only say the options the game is provided. Ah, uh, yes, the only phrases a human would ever need. Good evening, come on and I'm sad. But sometimes the hamster will personally ask how to convey emotions. <sniffs> My friend went away. How should I express these feelings? Uh, what should I say when I only have one sunflower seed left? Uh, uh, guys, I taught my hamster how to be sad and now I think he's depressed. But it's okay because 42 hours in, grandpa now has a cowboy hat and an entire roller coaster. Next up is Parrot Pals. I was excited about this one because you know, I have my own parrot pals. You boot up the game and... <laughs> you know what? It's not wrong. I picked out my large bird and named him Large, and now I have options on how to interact with him. Care, which is the typical feeding, cage cleanup, bathing. Watching, which is just letting him outside and watching him. You can't interact with your bird while you're watching him. You just sit there and, and watch him. I mean... I don't know what I expected. And play, which is the minigames. Can't be a virtual pet game without the minigames. There's dribbling, made you look, and tug of war. And I was immediately intrigued by tug of war because I don't know if you know this, but this is what tug of war looks like with a bird. <laughs> Turns out you have to withhold your strength and not knock over the flag in the middle, which is less exciting if I'm gonna be completely honest. Also, this is what dribbling looks like. It's just keep away with the bird. I don't know, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Anyway, you can actually talk to your bird and it'll try to have a conversation. 
Hello, bird. All right, so let me show you the Amazon review that single-handedly made me decide I have to buy this game. Sarah says, one star. Within the first five minutes, my daughter struggled to get the speak and repeat to work. And when it did work, the bird kept telling her over and over, I dislike you, until she cried. Need I say more? Also, it was literally like two bucks. A bit into the game, you unlock training, which lets you teach your bird tricks and phrases to repeat. I was confused on why the game was telling me to teach the bird random phrases like washed up by the river, there is an old man, and ogre island. But then I realized I had to teach the bird this entire 20 phrase long story. I'm not going to tell you how long it took to get him to learn all that, but just know it was more than I would have committed to if I wasn't monetizing it for content. Then Large just starts going off with the free speech. I didn't teach him any of that. Why is he saying these things? After you teach the bird every single trick and repeatable phrase he can learn, contests open up. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I'm probably the first person in the world who has actually unlocked contests and Parrot Pals. I entered large into the beginner contest and won, probably because he was the only participant. So you win the beginner contest and you'd expect your rank to go up to, I don't know, intermediate contest or maybe even advanced contest. No, you rank up from beginner to novice. <laughs> What's next after that? Just starting out? It's master? You go from beginner to novice to master. Now, the game you've all been waiting for. You know them, you love them, monkeys. With a Z, obviously. A game where you adopt, take home, and play with monkeys. You start off at an adoption center where you can pet the three monkeys they have out in their backyard to see which one you want to take home. Well, hey there, buddy, what's your- Oh, God! I mean, how can I say no to a face like that? I named him Champ, and now we just... Go home, I guess. Look at him go. Welcome home, little man. Don't touch that. I was in the middle of trying to figure out what a single one of these menu icons meant when Champ decided to just go out and help himself to the kitchen. I mean, yeah, I guess monkeys would be able to do that, but I sure didn't expect it. Also, holy crap, I totally thought Champ was a boy at first, but turns out I was just confused because they colored the female gender icon of the monkey blue. So their Champ is in the kitchen, hanging out, I'm just realizing there's just a straight up monkey in my house. After a little bit of petting and taking care of your monkey, a little heart gauge goes up. And when you get all three hearts, your monkey will grow up. This is uncanny. This monkey is now taller than the kitchen countertops. Go out and take a look at the counters in your kitchen right now and really just take in how big of a monkey that is. Am I the only one that is feeling very weird about this? There's no doubt in my mind. This monkey could absolutely kill me if it wanted to. Uh, I bought another monkey. You can go out to the park with your monkeys and play with just some random other monkey that's there. There's also Nintendogs agility training, but for monkeys, and Nintendogs bath time, but for monkeys, and Nintendogs frisbee toy, but for monkeys. But you know what this game has that Nintendogs doesn't? Human clothes. I put this sweater on Champ because, I don't know, I think now it feels like I have an actual just hairy person. Then I bought another monkey. There are three monkeys in my house and they all have various styles of clothes on. Then this happened. 
I think out of all the virtual pet games out there, the fact that the monkeys can have babies uh, makes me the most uncomfortable. Overall, this game is very jank. You can throw the bowl of water and the water just does this. Monkeys will get stuck in the walls. When you enter a new room for a few frames, you can catch all the monkeys tea posing, but I'd expect nothing less from Pets Monkeys House with a Z. I knew what I was getting into with this game. Have you seen the back of the box art? There's not much else to say. Overall, I enjoyed virtual pet games as a kid, and I'm sure a lot of people think back fondly on their virtual pets as well. It's just funny how Nintendog started this huge trend and all these other game companies started scrambling to throw together their own Nintendogs to cash in on poor unassuming children and grandparents. But again, now we've got such a wide variety of, of content, and I unironically love it. Hi, hope you're all having a good year so far. Uh, sorry I was gone for a bit, I took a break at the beginning of the year, so yeah, it happens. Anyway, uh, I don't think I have much to say here, so I guess this is gonna be a short end card this time. Yeah, bye! <laughs>